Good morning. Here's a question. Who owns us? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 12, verse 13 to 17. Then they sent to him some of the Pharisees and the Herodians to catch him in his words. When they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one, for you do not regard the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Bring me a denarius, that I may see it. So they brought it. And he said to them, Whose image and superscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered and said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. So the question was, who owns us? And that's the question that comes up about this coin. Jesus asked them, do you have a coin? Whose picture is on it? Whose inscription is there? In other words, who owns the thing? Should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? As believers, should we do that? And of course, if Jesus answers no, they can say, well, look, he, this guy's causing a, a, an insurrection. And go straight to Caesar and say, uh, tell the government, this guy's causing trouble. If they say yes, many will view Jesus totally as, as a discredited traitor to, to God's people. So, boy, how is he going to get out of this one? Whatever belongs to Caesar, give it to Caesar. Whatever belongs to God, give it to God. Now, what you've got here, then, is uh, quite an interesting answer, because listen, listen closely now, pay attention. How much stuff really belongs to Caesar? And the answer is nothing. There's really nothing that belongs to Caesar. Everything belongs to God. There's two kinds of authority, right? There's derived authority, and there's usurped authority. And so all authority that we have comes from God, the Creator. It's His authority. He, he gives us some of His authority with, with conditions, with moral conditions. And so some of the leaders get some authority sometimes, but under God's very strict moral guidelines. So how much stuff does Caesar really have? Well, it might look like he's got a lot. You know, he can eat as many grapes as he wants. He can have an ivory throne and, and, and big armies and, and uh, you know, a nice chariot with a, quite the DVD player in it. But you know what? That stuff really is not a big deal. Uh, how much stuff does Caesar really own? Really nothing. God owns all. God owns everything. And the, the authorities that are given over to Caesar are actually very small, very few, very limited. To the people who are mixing church and state and are trying to calculate and, and triangulate politically, that would be a hard question for them. Well, yeah, yeah, some, some of this is Caesar's. And some, oh, this is a brilliant answer. I don't think we have, we have an answer for this. But to the person that is committed to the Lord Jesus, we know that ultimately all things come from God. All power, all authority is derived from Him. And there's one more thing, too, we want to always remember, very important for these last days, that many times derived authority is taken and the people who have that derived authority, they add to it usurped authority. They take authority that isn't theirs. This is what we see in Revelation chapter 13 with the mark of the beast and those pieces, which we'll study at some point. Uh, there is an authority that God has granted the state, and there's authority that is, is grabbed and added to, usurped, never was given to them, and is taken in the wrong way. So watch out for anybody that's got some authority, uh, because many times the human tendency is to gather in some more authority, which is usually usurped authority. It's the authority that is not legitimately theirs. And so, Caesar and Jesus, think it out a little bit. Make sure you're on Jesus' side. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the fact that you own the cattle on a thousand hills. You own this world. You, may, you own the universe. You, you, Jesus dies on the cross so that we can receive a gift of eternal life from you. You own that too. Everything is really owned by you. Bless us, Lord, by helping us to be on your side. Caesar looms very large for us. But Lord, help us so that your kingdom looms even larger. Thank you for hearing our prayer and helping us with these things. Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Have a wonderful day in the Lord Christ Jesus. God be with you.